Hey bro, I wanted to show you what some of the countryside looks like. Um, here's some of the roadway. Um, of course this looks like a cornfield right here. Goes on a little ways. Um, I'll show you when I got to Dad's, some of the other place out there. But um, there's roads all over the place. Dirt roads. This is a little two-way highway my dad lives at the very end of. Um, I'm going to show you some more spots a little bit later. We're going to come up to some more interesting view. Okay, this is a little bit further down. Uh, it's probably another mile or so down the road. Um, to show you kind of some of the uh, scenery here. This is what we call the woods on both sides. They have nothing but just woods on both sides of the road. And it lasts for a little ways down here, just to the end of this bend here. Then they'll start to come back into more, a couple more houses. So, so overall, it's not too, uh, not too congested. Um, short little jaunt to town. It's a eight-mile stretch of road. Um, when my dad's old friends uh, passed away, and they're selling his house, which is. Um, right, right beside my dad's property, right across the street. Uh, this is kind of give you an idea. And deer run across this road constantly. I've already had to stop a couple of times since I've been here because uh, deer were just going to walk up on the road. So um, it's usually pretty easy to get game around here. The rabbits, squirrels. There was a family of uh, raccoons on my dad's porch last night. Uh, there's a mom with about four or five kittens. Um, and um, so there's, there's plenty of wildlife, plenty of game, you know, uh, if you need to survive, plenty of good sunlight for solar, solar power, you know, and you can always have a wind turbine for backup. Uh, sometimes the wind kicks up pretty good around here. Uh, this has been about a mile-ish that we just drove down, and there's still a little ways to go, but just to kind of show you. There's not very many houses. This is just about to the home stretch here. Um, some fences here. Um, there's some some good friends of Dad's and uh, he grew up with uh, as a kid. Um, their family has had it since they were kids. So you know they're talking about 70 years of uh, or so or pretty close to uh, to it of owning uh, land out here and, and now their children have it and grant and. Now a grandson has it also, um, and as you can see, there's a barn here, a house, uh, another house over here, and Dad knows all these folks. As you can see, he's one of his neighbors, uh, and right up here, see this little house. Uh, this is what's for sale currently. It's like two acres, uh, starting here at the fence line. It's got the house, two acres of land. It looks like a shed out back and a garden area that backs up to woods. And then from there, go across this little road and here's where my dad's land starts. And it's all down through here. This is all my dad's land. It goes all the way down to the house and all the way down to the next road. And it goes all the way back to the fence line back there that you'll see. Way back there, and all the way down to that curve, and all the way that whole set of woods over there, and all the way through there.